Already looking forward to sun up tomorrow. Get to the weekend action at Augusta, and it is jam packed at the top with many luminaries. Couples and Duffner share the lead. What a group of players that are just one shot back. Enjoyed it. Mike Tirico, Curtis Strange, and the whole ESPN family has been fun being with you here at Augusta as we send it back to you and Butler Cabin. Same here, Jim. Look forward to uh, watching over the weekend with you and Nick and the rest of the CBS crew. Jason Duffner, Curtis shot 70 today, two under par for his round, even with a drop shot at 18. Here he was at 16. Well, you know, he hung in there, he played a good solid round, and he hit shots like this. And we forget he has major championship experience. Five straight rounds in the majors, 70 or better for the 35-year-old former walk-on at Auburn. And then there's the story of the man who's the second oldest leader in Masters history, Fred Couples at age 52. That's uh, just fun to watch. Such a swing. Still swings like he's 25 years old. and keeps putting like that, he has a chance. And here he was at 16, part of this low round of the day, 567. You know, if he can continue to make a few putts that he doesn't expect to, that's the way you play Augusta National. So some notes on this second round as we're through 36 holes for this Masters. Talk about Couples being the oldest 36-hole leader or co-leader Lee Trevino held that at age 49. Jason Duffner continuing to be a presence and a factor in the major championships for Tiger, his second highest as a pro at the Masters. And three amateurs making the cut, tying the most since 1999 when we had here in 2003 as well. Matsuyama has a chance to be a back-to-back -back low amateur. Last person to do that, Tiger Woods, 95 and 96. CBS will have the highlight show coming up 10, 1135 Eastern time tonight. And third round coverage tomorrow at 3.30 Eastern and the final round Sunday at 2 Eastern on your local CBS station.